Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing about AWS HealthScribe. So what is HealthScribe? It's a part of basically uh, AWS Transcribe. So it's just extension of that. Basically, we can utilize this in health domain. So let's proceed to this AWS Health Subscribe, HealthScribe. So I will just show you the basics about it, like how we can utilize it. So it was recently launched. Uh, it is generally available. And it is currently in only available in the US East region. So you have to choose that, then only it is that service you can utilize it. So just a basic introduction about it, like it automatically creates the clinical notes uh, for the patient, for whatever the conversations are being going on between the doctor and the patient using the generative AI. So the models are already there. We do not to train anything, just we can utilize it directly. So you can see transform it is, basically happening the transformation of the conversation between the doctor and the patient. And one of the most important thing, it is a HIPAA compliant. And it is a eligible service that keeps the, you know, the data privacy in place. And uh, moreover, it is empowering the healthcare software vendors to build the clinical applications based upon the speech recognition. You can have the applications being developed. And you can also use the APIs also. So both ways, either you can utilize it. So it becomes more faster to utilize this because we need not to uh, manage the underlying the machine learning infrastructure or we need not to train it with the large language models. So that is the plus point of using the service. So these are the few benefits that are being highlighted. Enhance your clinical productivity with the AI-generated insights about the conversation between the doctor and the patient. And it uses the AI responsibly in clinical settings. Reduce the development time of your application. And it also safeguards the patient privacy using HIPAA compliance. So these are the few things that we should know about this health scribe. So it's just like a detailed benefits given over here, like how much time you're spending on the reports and documentation and all. That is a common practice in most of the healthcare industry that they maintain this documentation and all. So we can, uh, the features, we can summarize our clinical notes. We can extract also, we can have a rich consultation transcript, segmentation, the transcripts, and also validate the outputs and all and eligible for HIPAA compliance. So various use cases are there. It reduces the documentation time. That is the most important thing. And it also boosts the medical subscribe workflow efficiency, as well as it create like, you know, patient friendly consultation for them. Instead of putting some negative remarks and all, we can have a positive uh, remarks and all positive feedback or something like that. So these are the major industries that are using 3M. And we also have uh, Scribe EMR. Suki is there. So these are the industries that they are, you know, tele-tracking and all they are utilizing this health scribe. So let's go back. So I'll just uh, move on to the console to show you the demo related to this AWS. Health scribe. You can see it is a part of a uh, transcribe. So you can see here we have uh, automatic speech recognition is there. We can also create a transcript, create a call analytics jobs. Then there is a create a medical transcript, generate a clinical documentation. So these are the few things that we can do under transcribe. But again, a sub feature that is an AWS Health Scribe is also there. It's a part of this transcribe also. So if you click on this first create a script, so you can see you need to add your uh, uh, start streaming and it will create the transcription. And then you can choose the language that is being used and you can integrate with the application and you can also remove the content on the go which content to be removed. And if you identify some personal identifiable information, that is a P2 information. So you can also remove that. 
and we can have some customizations in place. So these things you can apply. So I'm not showing you like uh, how to do this application integration and all through the API calls. So you can see over here <clears throat> what uh, API request is being sent and what response we are getting. Okay, so this is uh, like as a whole the transcribe what it's going to do. But uh, in today's video, I will just focus upon the health scribe. So I will just click on it, try it now. And you can see we need to create a job. So these are the steps. Upload the audio, customize it, and analyze the results. So first we have to create a job for that in order to upload your audio. So I'm just going to create a job. So my HS job, you can put any name over here, and input data. So basically I have recorded my uh, audio in which I'm talking about like I'm having a fever or I'm being taking some uh, paracetamols, cold and cough. These are the symptoms that, that I'm like having a conversation with a doctor. So just I have uploaded some uh, audio file in the S3 bucket. So I will just uh, go there, browse, and I will just choose that particular audio file. Uh, this is a video. So these are the formats that you can choose it over here. You can see MP3, MP4, WAV, FLAC, AMR, OGG, and WebM. So I'm just using my uh, video that normally whatever the conversation, it will be like coming in the form of a text. So this is our input data. And similarly, we have to choose our bucket for our output. So I'm just using my existing buckets. If you don't have, you just go and create your buckets and you can uh, record some audio just like a simple basic conversation like uh, telling to the doctor about your symptoms what uh, symptoms you're having and all and whether you have taken any medicines or not so these kind of things you can just record it and just upload in your s3 bucket as input data and i'm not using any any speaker partitioning or channel identification or something like that so maximum number of speakers you can see there's two over here so that is just a doctor and a patient over here. In my case, you can have a maximum of 10 speakers being, uh, so we can have like number of speakers we can in increase in order to have more accuracy in our results. So for this, we need to create an IM role such that it is having like an input from a bucket, S3 bucket and output also, as well as it is using a KMS decrypt permission to input from the bucket. So I will just put it over my HS role. You can check what are this role permissions will be. So you can see uh, list, read, decrypt, write. These are the things that is going to perform your an S3 bucket. Now let's create a job. Okay, so it has created the job over here. So you can see it is in progress. We need to wait for two to three minutes in order to complete this one. Okay, now you can see it, the job has been completed. So I'll just click on this job over here. So you can see it has been created, speaker partitioning is enabled over here and input data location and what is the output location and what is your clinical documentation output. So if you click on it, you won't be able to have the access of that particular file. So I will just go to my S3 bucket. So let me check over here whether we can see this particular transcript or not. Okay, there is an option to download over here. And there is another new thing coming up. You can see Amazon Q. It gives you a tip and all. It's a very nice thing. I'll just show you later on. You can just download this one and also this one. Okay, 
let me copy to some other. Okay. Okay, these are the two files that are being downloaded. So I'll just open with my Visual Studio code. So it's basically a JSON file. So I'll just show you how does it look like. Okay, let me format it. still loading okay format the document okay so you can see over here clinical insights that we have what are the conversation going on so what is the medical condition over here and we have a clinical entity so in the audio i have said like uh, sore throat and type nothing is there and then we have anatomy also there like uh, we have the content throat then we have system organ site cold so in begin character offset over here and three times a day some medicine is being prescribed so this is the whole uh transcript it's it's not a like uh, just a transcript just a conversation between the doctor and the patient so medication is the paracetamol and that's all oh, pronunciation over here and then punctuation what and all those things have been included over here so whichever you want to utilize it you can utilize it but again uh, over here if you go to the summary let me show you the summary over here that's more interesting so we need not to worry about you know training the model and all those things so it's taking care of all the things now if you see where this summary of your uh, clinical summary you can see chief complaint cold symptoms history of pre-illness the patient present to the clinic today with a sore throat okay then if you see over here they report they report having taken paracetamol for their symptoms as I mentioned you in the in the audio, I have mentioned that I have been taking paracetamol and all. So the patient notes that they have been experienced a sore throat and feeling cold. So there is evidence links given over here. And then they state the paracetamol has been used to treat their symptoms. Review of the systems. So we have over here, so throat, cold, past medical history, then we have assessment, cold, what is the plan? So for the sore throat and cold, prescribe paracetamol, instruct the patient to take paracetamol three times a day to help relieve the sore throat and cold symptoms. So this is how we can have the whole summary available. That's that's all like it creates so you can explore more inside it like uh, there are multiple options you can see uh, we can also uh, over here we can even record those and transcribe if you don't want to utilize it so using the api calls you can see this is down over here how we can integrate with our application so this is how we are going to integrate so this is these are the parameters that we need to send uh, audio file and the speakers and all that's it so it will return you all these things then we can choose the segments which we want to utilize it in order to summarize the medical uh, that medical documentation or the clinical documentation so we can do so you can see there are lots of things are there that transcribe uh, real-time transcription is over there like in call center agent and all those things how uh, they can like transcribe and all. So we can have this uh, like, you know, uh, a real time, like uh, creating like any questions about that or anything, any kind of analytics that you want to perform or you want to detect something, some toxicity or anything, subtitles, captions and all, all those things, you can do it in one go. 
So you need not to worry about uh, like working on the model and training the model and all. So it's already available. So you can see there is a demo and all is there. So, but uh, I would recommend like you start working with this, uh, like a real time transcription for the medical and all these things. And uh, record your streaming, audio streaming and all. So you can have a nice application. So that's all from my side for this um, Amazon Health Scribe. Uh, yeah. a, a small pop-up is there, like, uh, hello, I am Amazon Q, your AWS Generative AI Assistance is there. So these are the questions like that, like uh, you can ask some questions like, you know, like a chat GPT. So you can just ask, why can't I access this to my EC2 instance? So it will bring some, uh, you know, how to mitigate that problem. It looks like you need help with the network connectivity and all those things. It is available in this region. So it's not that much advanced, just this is a newly launched feature. It is still in the preview mode. So you can have a new conversation, like you can ask, whatever you want, how to deploy a containerized application, web application to AWS, or you can just ask S3 bucket uh, life side. Oops, I, why I put the lifestyle. I should put over there life cycle, not the lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> So it prompts me, anyhow. So it is S3 life cycles. So you can define some, uh, like you can see it is giving you the whole options. So basically this Amazon Q is like, you know, the chat GPT for the AWS services. So you can just have a quick look like what you can do or just like that, uh, create a Lambda function. It's still in the preview mode once it is uh, available uh, generally to all the users. So I will create a video on it. So how we can utilize this Amazon Q, but you need to have an organization attached, then only we can have it. You can see how to create a Lambda function and you can also define. It's quite good, you know, you can grab resources like from where we can have uh, access. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.